everyone, Smith Sutton here, and today we're going to be reading a story all about the season of spring. Our story today is called, And Then It's Spring. Now before we get started, we always talk about the parts of our books. So this is the front cover, back cover, spine, title, and this title is bold and colorful and it says, look at me. Now the author of this book is Julie Falagiano, and this book is illustrated by Aaron E. Steed. Now we all know the author of the book does what? Good. The author writes the words for us and the illustrator draws the pictures. So Julie Filagiano is the one that wrote these beautiful words and Aaron Steed is the one that drew these beautiful pictures. All right, so let's get started reading. And then it's spring. And then it's spring by Julia Pelagiano, illustrated by Aaron E. Steed. First you have brown. All around you have brown. Then there are seeds. And a wish for rain. And then it's rain. Lots of rain. And it is still brown, but a hopeful, very possible sort of brown. And is that a little green? No, it's just brown, sort of brown. Then it is a week. And you worry about those little seeds. And if maybe it was the birds. Ooh, so many birds. Or maybe it was the bears and all that stomping because bears can't read signs that say things like, please do not stomp here. There are seeds and they are trying. And the brown, still brown, has a greenish hum that you can only hear if you put your ear to the ground and close your eyes. And a sunny day, that sunny day that happens right after that rainy day, And you walk outside to check on all that brown. But the brown isn't around. And now you have green. All around you have green. The end. So I want you to tell me in the comments, what did you notice about this book? At first you saw brown. What did the brown represent? How do you think you felt about the brown? And then what happened as the weeks went on? What did you notice happening in the book? And what do you wonder? We always talk about what we notice and what we wonder in a book. So I want you to tell me that below. Comment below, tell me some questions you have, tell me some things that you notice, and tell me what you think was happening when we were reading the story. All right, thank you for reading with me.